Well, hello, friends. Before we begin, let me tell you about my Patreon real quick. So the Serenity operating system and all of my video content about it is always going to be free and open source. But if you would like to support my work and maybe even one day make it possible for me to work full time on this, then do check out my Patreon. There's a link in the description below. And of course, a huge thanks to those of you who are already supporting me on Patreon. Thank you very much. Um, all right. So let's talk a bit about what happened in Serenity in the last month. Um, the number of contributors has kept on growing, uh, which is very, very cool. Uh, in the month of June, I've merged patches from 13 people other than myself, and more than half of those were from people making their first um, contributions. So welcome, everybody, and thank you for working on Serenity. It's really, really fun. Um, all right, so <laughs> let's uh, look at some new stuff. Uh, the first big thing that I want to show you is this new paint app that I've been working on called Paintbrush. <clears throat> I don't know if the name is final, but this is what it looks like. It has these nifty things like a spray tool, and um, you can draw lines. <laughs> you know the drill, we have the bucket fill, um, and stuff like a color picker and an eraser. Um, you know, typical paint application stuff. And um, it's been it's been a really nice thing to work on and it keeps on improving and, and I'm not the only one um, making tools for it, which is great. Uh, so that's the, the paint application. And uh, then we have some improvements to the quick show application, which is the, um, the thing that shows up if you open um, an image file in the file manager, for instance. Um, so now you can pan around and um, zoom images here. Um, these are new features. Uh, we, uh, it was a very, very primitive app before, so now I'm sort of trying to give it a little bit of love. Um, so it's been, it's, been, um, it's been improving. And then another thing is in the terminal, we now have copy-paste. So you can copy text like this and then paste it with a right click. Very, very handy. And then something else that we have in the terminal is, let's say that I type foobar and then exit. Oops, and then exit, and then I bring up a new one. Uh, you can see that I have shell history and it persists. Um, so thank you, Callum, for working on that. Um, what else? We have, um, oh yeah, in the window server, we have um, programmatic <laughs> bringing window to front. Um, so for instance, I mean, this is like a tiny thing, but I like it. So when you click settings here and the settings window is already on screen, you can go like, whoop, and it pops over. Very cool. Um, another thing that I did yesterday was uh, you can a mouse wheel on things um, with the super key held down and it changes the opacity of the window and it works on anything and uh, I'm not sure it's useful for anything but I really like it right now so that's a thing uh, that exists um, what else what else what else oh yeah so um, in the visual builder I haven't been working that much on this actually in the last month but um, I can show you that uh, I did a new widget, which is the combo box widget. Uh, it's what sh will show up here if you try to change a property. It will give you some uh, alternatives to choose from. With, and um, this is a new widget, the combo box. And of course, you can use it to check the change the check state, which was not possible before. Um, and this actually leads me into. Um, an interesting other thing, which is let's save the form, and this is just going to end up in um, hard coded file name. Uh, we now save forms in JSON format, and um, we have a way to pretty print those actually, um, make them look like this. So it's pretty cool. So the um, Serenity system has gained um, JSON uh, framework, uh, which uh, we then also use to implement stuff in the proc file system. So now the proc all, which is the, the entire process table information uh, file, um, is a big JSON file. So you can uh, JSON print that. And this JSON file is actually used to drive stuff like the process manager. Um, previously, it was all comma separated values. So this is, it's just like a huge improvement um, that we're able to, to talk between the kernel and, and user space using JSON. Um, but, but, um, what else did we do? Uh, we did, um, let's see, we have this thing, you know, 
you can do a DNS lookup like this, and now it's also possible, or I guess I just showed that actually. Um, yeah, the reverse lookup is what, what I implemented earlier this month. Um, previously, we only had looking up by name, but now you can also do lookup by IP address. Um, but there hasn't been a lot of work in networking code this month. Um, but, 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 but let's see something else. So another thing that I worked on was crash messages. So I have this little utility here that crashes when you run it and actually has many, many ways of crashing. Um, we'll do a simple seg fault and you see we get a segmentation violation. And then if we look in the um, kernel log, we can actually see here that uh, it was a write to address uh, zero and then it gives you a little note that it might be a possible no footer dereference, which is extremely likely in this case. Um, but you can also um, do something like, uh, what the heck were they called? Uh, crash M, uh, and then it's a different type of crash where it tells us that this address looks like it might be uninitialized malloc memory. So we have a few different uh, heuristics where we're able to uh, kind of guess with a pretty, pretty good guess. We can make a pretty good guess if something is because of uninitialized memory or if it's a use after free, stuff like that, based on uh, what the um, pointer that we're trying to dereference looks like. And uh, it, it works by, by scrubbing values after malloc and free, <clears throat> basically. Uh, but but it's, it has been pretty helpful so far, actually. Um, and then uh, there have been many people uh, contributing various like user land fixes and user land improvements, and now you can um, you can um, pass these different flags to the ID program um, to get individual pieces of data. Um, someone made um, a way to get the numeric user ID and group ID in LS output. Um, there's um, WC programs, you can count the lines. A um, lot, of, lot of new little programs and, and like new flags for existing programs. It's been really, really awesome seeing all these things come in and like the system um, growing more and more um, of these little uh, features. It's, it's really great. And uh, in terms of ports, there's only one new port this month, which is Figlet. Uh, and if you don't know Figlet, this is what it does. Hello, friends. Uh, that's the whole thing. It, uh, it's just a port I did because Figlet was actually the very first third-party software that I got running on Serenity. And then I just uh, didn't um, touch it or use it for months, um, but now I'm, I've brought it back and made a port for it so that it's easy to build Figlet for your Serenity installation. Um, but yeah, so these are kind of, I guess these are the, the main visual things that I had to show here really. Um, other than these things, there have been a lot of improvements in the kernel. There uh, is like the early stage uh, disk partition support. Um, we have support for kernel command line parameters. Uh, there's been a lot of bug fixes in the file system stuff um, and Unix pipes. There's a new serial port driver um, by Conrad. And um, one thing that's really cool is that we now detect um, more memory than before. So now you can see here that this machine has about 128 megs of memory. Previously, we were capped at 64 meg, uh, but now we know how to actually tell how much memory the machine has. <clears throat> and um, there's probably a lot more, a lot more things. Uh, these are just <laughs> the stuff I could think of now. Um, but yeah, I think that's about everything I have to show in this video today. So um, what else? On a personal note, I have started a new job this month, which definitely did and does cut into my available time for this but I'm doing my best to stay active and to stay engaged. And it's been a bit slower than previous months for sure, but who cares? We're just gonna keep on going with this anyway. So I guess that puts me out of stuff to talk about. So I just wanna say thank you for stopping by and for checking out the project and for hanging out with me while we continue to build this crazy thing. And I will see you next time.